can a smartphone truly be unbreakable? Well, let's find out. This is the Honor X9B and its main selling point is that its display does not break. At least not easily. Besides that, for a price of some 26,000 rupees, you get the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 powering it. The phone comes with a 108 megapixel camera along with a whopping 5,800 milliampere battery. First and foremost, let's talk about this display. You might have already seen a lot of people drop testing this phone and yes, I did it too and I have to tell you, this screen is definitely strong. Three. I tried dropping it on the road, Three. I tried hammering it and even ran it over with a scooter but no, it did not break. I have to tell you that I could see visible damage to the frames and a few scratches but the display, as Honor claimed, can really take up some good beating. Okay, so what about the actual display quality then? This 6.78 inches AMOLED panel is definitely one of the best in its segment, period. No, it does not boast any sort of HDR10 Plus or Dolby Vision certifications but the core quality here is amazing. It also supports 1920Hz PWM dimming for a flicker-free experience on top of having hardware-level blue light filter to keep your eyes protected. I had no problem reading things off of this display under a bright sunny environment either. I compared it to the even more expensive OnePlus 12R and Honor X9B's display beats it. This 1.5K resolution display is super sharp and crisp. Everything just feels pleasing here, be it scrolling through social media or watching reels and series. So good marks to Honor in the display side of things. Having said that, I am not really happy about Honor's decision to go with a single speaker setup here. The mono speaker that comes here is clear and loud, but considering this phone sells for over 25,000 Indian rupees, this single speaker does not justify the price at all. Also, its haptics are decent but the vibration only clicks in when typing, you have no feedback when unlocking the fingerprint sensor and there is no vibration integration in the UI elements as well. Alright, design-wise, it's nothing we haven't seen before but the design, I have to say, looks good and it feels good too. I have this vegan leather back variant but there are other two options with a plastic finish that look equally good. As you can see, it's got a very slim profile and has curves which helps with the grip a lot. So overall, nice design. Okay, let's move to the performance side of things now. Under the hood, this phone packs the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 5G chipset which we have seen in phones like the Realme 12 Pro as well. It boasts a similar architecture as the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 but the 7S Gen 2 has slightly boosted clock speeds. Hence, the performance of this mid-range chip is actually good. Have a look at the benchmark scores yourself. The Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 scores impressively for a mid-ranger on both Geekbench 6 and Antutu. 2. And even in real-life tests, I have to say the phone performed well, no lags or no stutters whatsoever. Battle Royale games like PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile run very smooth here. You can even go up to HDR plus extreme settings on PUBG where I was able to achieve an average of 59 FPS. Likewise, in Genshin Impact, I was getting around 55 FPS in low settings. Um, the Honor X9B does not support higher FPS in games that support it though, uh, so you will be capped at 60 FPS. Besides gaming, it catered to all of my daily chores like texting, scrolling through infinite reels and so with ease. I don't have many complaints about the software either except the fact that it boots on Android 13. The phone comes with Magic UI 7.2 and in terms of usability, it is fine. Uh, the animations here are super smooth and the overall UI feels refreshing. Uh, you get all the necessary customization options and some AI features as well like this magic text that allows you to copy text from images and then there is this AI app suggestion feature which recommends apps based on user habits. Having said that, Honor has not been very open about the software update policy for the X9B. If we look at the latest upgrade policy on Honor's site, the X9B is expected to receive two major Android updates, which is up to Android 15 and uh, four years of security patches, which is not that great, especially considering two things. Number one, it boots on Android 13. And number two, the competition is offering much, much more these days. So Honor definitely needs to work on that. Okay, moving on, I have to give this phone a thumbs up for its battery because not only it has a bigger capacity in such a slim profile, but it also has DxO Mark's gold battery certification. What the claim is, is that the battery will still have 80% health even after a thousand charging cycles. 
cycles. Now, how much of that is true, only time will tell, but this certainly is an add-on to the perks of this phone. In terms of endurance, the phone was good to go for a full day, even with moderate usage, providing 8 to 8.5 hours of screen on time. For a normal user, that number will definitely go up. Something you have to know is that Honor is not shipping a charger in the retail unit box, but for a limited time period, you can get a 35 watt charger for free. And uh, with the official charger, it takes more than two hours to top off this phone from zero to 100%. Lastly, let's talk cameras. Honestly, our team has been testing this phone for a considerable number of days and we have mixed feelings about its cameras. There's uh, a 108 megapixel primary camera, a measly 5 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a 2 megapixel macro sensor and here are the samples that we clicked from it. You can see how the 108 megapixel camera is not able to capture much detail and the photos are mostly soft with an unbalanced color tone. Also, the X9B struggles to control highlights every once in a while. In comparison, the Redmi Note 13 Pro's output is slightly better with pronounced contrast and a bit pop in colors. But we know that even the Note 13 Pro did not have extraordinary camera setup, so it seems like Honor needs to work a bit more on its cameras. Honor also lets you zoom in up to 3x via its in-sensor zooming capabilities, and I have to tell you, the output is nothing extra. There is some definite artificial sharpening going on, and the results are only usable. I like the portraits from the Honor X9B though. They are not the most natural, but the photos are pleasing nonetheless. You also get a 2x mode, which makes the subject focus a bit better. Uh, it does struggle with dynamic range sometimes, but other times, the photos are nice. I wish I could say the same thing about the selfies though. The selfies have an unpleasing yellow tone to them which does not look nice. And it also struggles to maintain exposure in the background oftentimes. Uh, moving on, I do not have much hopes with the 5 megapixel ultra wide angle sensor and our tests proved the same. The images are plainly bad in terms of colors, dynamic range, details, everything. Lastly, the Honor X9B can shoot up to 4K 30fps videos, but since there is no OIS or even EIS for that matter, there is no stabilization, not even a little bit. The quality of videos is okay, but the exposure management is still an issue. On top of that, you can only shoot 4K videos for up to 10 minutes, which is extremely weird. So overall, really, really average camera performance, both photography as well as videography-wise. Okay, so wrapping things up, I believe the Honor X9B is just a decent offering for around 25,000 rupees. Of course, if you're someone who drops and breaks your phones often, you are going to get a lot more value from it. But if that's not the case, the Honor X9B is not anything special in my opinion. For me, it remains as one of the good options in this price segment with decent performance, a nice looking design, great display, a relatively cleaner software experience and excellent battery life. So uh, given the asking price, I really wish the phone performed better in the camera department and focused on smaller but important aspects like speakers and haptics too because these things really matter for a good smartphone experience. At just 2000 rupees more, you can get Honor's 90, which is a much better offering in my opinion. Um, another alternative is the Poco X6 Pro, which offers you the best performance per rupee spent. And there are lots of uh, models from last year that have now seen some very healthy price cuts like the Motorola Edge 40 or the iQOO Neo 7 or the Galaxy S21 FE Triple Eight Edition, all of which will offer you a much better experience than this one. So everybody, that was all for my full review of the Honor X9B. What do you think about this phone? Do let me know in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Saying this, I'm Pratima Adhikari and thank you so much for watching.